Hi, I'm Donna DeVere, the original creator of the Folk Art Once Wrote Painting Technique. Welcome to the Let's Paint Studio right here at Plaid. Learning to paint has never been as easy as when I teach you how to load a brush with multiple colors where you can blend, shade, and highlight with one stroke of the brush. Our new program with Let's Paint Folk Art One Stroke this year is going to be all about learning how to paint 50 different types of flowers. And as you can imagine, 50 flowers makes the possibility endless to be able to paint floral designs. I'm thrilled that you've chosen to join me on this one stroke journey. So let's paint. Today, we're painting a black eyed Susan. And what we're gonna to use to make that easy for you is our reusable teaching guide, where it's gonna have all the colors we need and the brushes and a worksheet. So they're reusable, so I'm gonna share that with you in a few minutes. But what we're gonna be using, first thing, we're gonna go over our folk art multi-surface colors. We've got um, moon yellow, wicker white, yellow ochre, magenta, licorice, sap green, and citrus green. We're gonna be using these three brushes, which are going to be a half inch scruffy and we're going to use a 12 flat and a two script liner with our one stroke brushes. Now, the first thing we're going to do is show you how to load this brush and paint the first element that's going on our project, which is going to be the stems and the leaves. So I have a blending uh, mark right here for you, and it's going to be telling you step by step what colors that we're going to be using. So it's a 12 flat. We wet our brush, lay it on the paper towel, and then we're gonna come right here and pick up these two colors. So we split the brush, the flat of the brush, and then we come right over here and we work it in, work it in, work it in, we're pushing very hard, very quick. All right, then we're gonna come back over here, pick up more, and this time we very gently work that in because that's just on the surface and it's two thirds full. All right, so to make sure that your color's right, take and go right here and see what it looks like. I'm also gonna have a baby wipe here or a wet paper towel so that you can wipe this off because we don't want it to stick to our teaching guide. So we're gonna pull on the chisel. Right here's the chisel. We're gonna pull straight down, right down here. And I'm going to pick up a little bit more paint and then we're gonna very lightly touch and pull along here, very lightly. All right, and so you practice that over and over and try it again. Make sure that you're comfortable with the stroke. I'm gonna go right here and, and flatten that paint out. And we're gonna start on this line and follow your arrow. So this movement going along here is the leaf that we're gonna do right here. So you're gonna turn this side and come to a point. Now I'm gonna pick up just a little bit of sap so you can see it, sap green. I'm gonna go right along here, which is what we just practiced, and stand up to the chisel. Then we pick up the paint again, and more paint than you ever would think. And then we're gonna slide, and then see this chisel? We're gonna pull right in the middle. All right, so you practice that till you feel comfortable with my leave and it's the si exact size that we're gonna come put over here, okay? So what we're gonna do with this 12 flat is we're gonna keep getting paint, and now if we're on a tall surface, we might need a little bit of floating medium. So what you do is you dip lightly into the floating medium, one, two, and only do that every third or fourth stroke. Don't do that a lot, okay? Or it will get muddy. So I'm gonna pull down, all right, pull, and uh, stroke right in there where you've already loaded it. And my, if you watch, my little finger is helping me stay smooth. I'm actually, my little finger's actually pulling my stroke, the little finger. And you can clean up something if you're not happy. I can come right in here and up on the chisel of the brush. You see this, I'm right up on the chisel. I'm going to put some grass down here. All right, now on the stems, remember I pushed and pulled just on the chisel, just a few of these, okay? And 
and let's do a couple of leaves. While this is wet, this will go in here really well, right on top, okay? So I've got more paint, and if you have enough paint, you're good as far as not needing floating medium. Okay, so look, we're gonna do this way, turn it over. There, and we pull a stem. Okay, flatten that out and pull a stem. Okay, and let's do another one over here to the point. All right, and just remember if you don't like um, the stroke, just go right back over it. Don't try to wipe it off, please. And then I can pull that stem right back in there. And there we go. So now we're ready for our Black Eye Susans. All right, so painting leaves are fun. You're going to like that. So I've cleaned my brush. I've laid it on the paper towel for the water to go out of it. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to pick up some moon yellow and yellow ochre. Split the brush. Go in between. Go right here and work it in. And you got to be two-thirds at least up the brush. Dip some white on the moon yellow edge. Okay. Now, right here then you can see if it's going to have that color that I did. Okay, and now you're going to do exactly what the arrow shows you. All right, you're going to push and you're going to lift. Push, lift, push, lift, and then do a few more. All right, so now what we're going to do is fill these in. All right, so it tells you can take a script liner and add a few marks to this if you want. But let me show you, this is a full flower. That's just a side view. And I did do a couple full flowers. So I'm pushing and I'm standing up. Pushing, stand up. Now let's take this little liner and we're just going to go in to, I got a touch of water. I'm going to roll the two script liner. And then we can go to this, these little marks right here. These little accent marks. You're going to come right in here. See these? You're going to do those little lines right into some of these petals. All right. That's why you don't want too much yellow ochre in it. So let's go paint our project. Now we are ready to put all this in there. And then we have just a little bit of how to do, let me go ahead and show you this real quick. We're going to make a, a brown with this. And so to do that, we're using yellow ochre and magenta. So look here, we're going to get these two colors and we're going to tap it. Okay, then we put a teeny bit of licorice and that makes brown. Okay, let's get a little bit more. And then we'll be ready for our project. Okay, and it just gives you a little bit. Okay, of brown. Okay, so that's what we're going to need to pounce on. And we're going to put this guide right next to me so that we can see what we're going to be painting and remember the strokes that I just taught you. Okay, so now let's take our 12 that. I mix the brown, we clean it all out, try to keep paint out of the ferrule. The silver is the ferrule. All right, so now what we're going to do is that if you're using a lot of paint, you can push it over to the edge. But I'm doing mostly yellow, moon yellow, and a little bit more white so that those yellow ochre accents show. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to do some of these taller ones by going push and lift. Up here, push, lift, pick up a little bit more. Now these are the hanging flower petals. And we're going to do a couple more right in here. And 
one. Let's do a whole one now. Let's come in here with a little bit of yellow ochre. And now let's do our center right here, okay? So we have the scruffy. It's natural here, so do not put this one in the water. You dry it, and it's always dry. You put it in the water when you wash it. All right, so I'm going to come right here along the flower. You can practice this on your guys, so. Gonna have a little bit more. All right, each one of these it just has the black eyed Susie come in here. Okay, the one here, and then this one right here. To me, it looks like a gum drop. Now I'm just going to take a little teeny bit of magenta, you'll see, and we can put a little bit of magenta at the tips. I had so much fun today sharing how easy it is to paint these flowers. They turned out gorgeous. Remember practicing on the reusable teaching guides right over my strokes gives you so much painting confidence. Thank you for joining me here in the studio. And remember, we just learned one more of the flowers from the A to Z one stroke floral painting sets. And I would love for you to take pictures and share them on our Let's Paint with Plaid Facebook group by hashtagging Let's Paint Challenge. Come on, everybody, let's paint.